Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And this is a two-part video. There's going to be the easy, I call it the easy way out. And the next one will be a little more complex, but it addresses the same problem. Uh, it could happen with Google Chrome, with Brave, with Edge, basically with almost any Chromium browser. And it is an annoying problem. You're trying to update or to install Google Chrome. For the most part, it's Chrome that is affected. And it gets an error message that says the installer, the installer failed to uncompress archive. And of course, stops there, doesn't work. So if you see this, um, a few things you can try. Now, this video is going to be the, I call it the easy way out because it's the easy things you can try. The first one that you should do if you haven't restarted your PC in a while and you're using the fast start option, I suggest that you go to the start button, go to your power button, and do a restart. Do not shut down and then press the power button. It doesn't do the same thing. Really choose restart. And once the restart is done, the first thing you're going to do is try to update or install Google Chrome or Brave or Edge or whatever browser gives you that error message. It works, you're fine. Doesn't work. Second thing that you should do is check your extensions in Google Chrome. Make sure that you don't have too many extensions that could prevent Google Chrome from actually um, having that sort of behavior. So you will want to check uh, any extensions that are installed in your Google Chrome browser uh, for sure uh, because they are the possibility, you know, the extensions are what probably can break something within Chrome. The other uh, thing to do is to go into your Chrome settings and at the bottom left, completely uh, the bottom left in settings, you have reset settings. You can try that to reset the settings to zero and see what it does. This will give you um, a possibility of maybe having the update working after that. So that's another thing you can try. In some cases, and actually more than we think, uh, if you're using third-party antiviruses, and one that is well known to create this error message is Kap Kapersky. If you're using Kaspersky, you might actually want to just disable it the time that Google Chrome creates uh, that install or that update and see if it actually works. Uh, many people have said that they're uh, turning off the antivirus temporarily just for the update actually helped Google Chrome go through. So that is could be simply something related to the security. Um, it doesn't seem to do anything or be um, a problem with the Windows security app. So if you're using the Windows basic security app of Windows security, it shouldn't be a problem. Third-party antivirus seem to be more of a problem with uh, some of those things. So these are the first things that you can try and see if it does anything. Now, if it doesn't do anything, the next video might be the one that's going to help you fix that problem. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.